Shalom, 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 shalom. Call Halal and Yehoah by Hashem Yavashai, by Hashem Rekakadash. I want to give another double honor to my apostles and elders and great millstone who have taught me this truth and who rule well. Enough respect and salutations, peace and blessings out there to you hopeful elect that's listening to this word in sincerity and in truth. I'm the brother Malachi. And I want to get into uh, a short response, a uh, short lesson, uh, Lord willing, um, concerning this uh, universal basic income. All right. So as you see on the screen, I have uh, this, uh, just a little small defi uh, definition of it. It goes into uh, basically that this, this universal basic income will be something provided from the government. All right. Giving it unto the masses. All right. To help them for payment of uh, uh, it's like a guaranteed payment each month that the citizens would be able to have to cover the cost of living. All right, to help provide for financial security since all these jobs are a uh, hey, people are losing jobs every day. All right, I believe the count has just went up to thirty million. So you got thirty million people filing for unemployment. All right, so this is the, the wave of this universal basic income. Many people are, 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 are they're gonna flock to it. All right, I believe a poll, I think I think the poll that uh, the citizens had took, uh, you know, people wanted to vote for it. It was going to, I believe it was between 70 to 70 to 80 percent. Uh, it's, it's a rough number in between there, but it's between 70 and 80 percent that the people agree. The people are, 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 are ready for this, all right? Meanwhile, this is going to uh, uh, eventually usher in the, uh, uh, the RFID chip, all right? So the word, the H word that uh, uh, I believe Apostle Tahar was uh, hinting at, that he was saying if anyone could guess, I believe uh, that that was hyperinflation, all right? I've seen other brothers starting to make videos of it, and... It's true because the hyperinflation, if you have this universal basic income and you're just giving it to the masses, all right, you're lowering the uh, value of the dollar, all right, which is going to cause hyperinflation, all right? So let's go ahead and get into that word. This is hyperinflation, just from the Wikipedia, all right? It reads, in economics, hyperinflation is a very high and typical in Salakia is very high and typically accelerating inflation. It quickly erodes the real value of the local currency as the prices of all goods increase. All right. So, for instance, say you have the dollar bill. All right. And in that dollar bill, hyperinflation starts to happen when you start to give it out to the masses. You start printing more money. All right. So with hyperinflation, this happens, the dollar is going to become worth less. Even though you see the dollar bill, it may have the number one on it, such, uh, basically showing you that it is the dollar bill, but take a fourth of that off and that dollar bill is going to be worth 25 cents, all right, due to hyperinflation. So then when you have hyperinflation, the price of that, that dollar bill jumps down to 25 cents just for that one dollar bill. But now the prices of the goods increase, such as your gas, your oil, your cost of living, your apartments, your rent, your food. And we can start to see that starting to come up on the rise. You have the chicken, you have the beef, these things, these, these commodities, these essentials of, 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 of food, they're starting to rise. But now you see if they uh, uh, bring in this universal basic income, all right, this is when they're going to have the government is going to start to bring to the masses printing money, giving the, the, the public 2000 a month, per se. All right, that's going to very, very devalue the, the dollar bill, all right, to its last cents, all right? Just as the example that I gave you, that it would be worth, what, 25 cents just for $1? This is why you see in old videos when you look at Venezuela, you had money just laying across the street because it was worth nothing. 
due to what? Hyperinflation. All right. And this is what's going to happen in these last days. So let's read on a little bit more. It says this causes people to minimize their holdings in that currency as they usually switch to more stable foreign currencies, often the U.S. dollar, U.S. dollar. All right. Prices typically remain stable in terms of other relative stable currencies. All right. So let's say that the dollar starts to drop. This is they're going to this is when you're going to see Esau is going to implement this RFID chip. All right. The people are going to be at, 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 at the bottom. They're going to be on their knees begging because the price is going to be so high. They're not going to be able to feed their families. All right. But before all that. <clears throat> We're going to see some things, all right? So let's jump into uh, some scriptures. This is the book of 2 Ezra 16, <clears throat> starting at verse 19. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. All right. They're not going to be the, 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 the public. All right. They're not going to be mindful. They're not going to be uh, 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 mindful of the wickedness that they've been doing. All right. They're not going to acknowledge the true power of, of the heavens, which is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. All these things is coming up upon a snare upon two thirds of our people and two, uh, Salaki, two thirds of our people of the nation of Israel and the rest of the world. All right. Verse 21. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. Right now, everything is good. You got some of the oil. It's pretty good. All right. So like you got the uh, gas, gas prices. All right. The oil prices. You no, know, it's right now. Everything is decent. All right. You got um, um, the food prices. Everything is is is. It's, it's, it's okay right now, but things are starting to rise, all right, behind the scenes. Because now you got to look behind the scenes. You got to look out there in, uh, uh, in, in, in uh, California, out there off their ports and things. You have nothing but oil tankers just sitting out there, full of oil. But the people not uh, buying it. Why? Because you got many people, they're sitting at home, their jobs, all right? That they lost their, their so like if they lost their jobs, they're at home. People are not traveling anywhere, so you got all this oil. The uh, the supply and demand, all right, is less. All right, so you have all these uh, uh, oil tankers out there. That's gonna bring a domino effect to bring up the oil prices. All right, now you got the food. You got the farmers. They're euthanizing their animals, their cattle. All right, they're throwing away milk. They they. They're burying food in the ground. All this is starting to, to, to it's a, hey, it's going, it's a, it's start, it's, hey, this is like you're getting ready to blow up a balloon. Everything is just blowing up as, as each day goes by. But then eventually it's going to pop. And when it pops, that's when all hell is going to break loose. All right. It reads on. It says, and even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine. And great confusion. The great confusion is getting ready to come. Many people are going to be asking questions when all hell breaks loose. All right? People are not going to have the answers to what's going on because at the time when they had uh, uh, liberty, as you read in 2 Ezra chapter 9, they had the liberty to go and get this uh, information from the prophets, the men of the Lord, who was preaching out there, uh, uh, day in and day out on the highways and hedges. All right. They had the way of getting the answers, but therefore they're going to be left in great confusion. All right. They're going to be left in great famine. All right. They're going to be left uh, to the people with the sword. These are the things of the evils. All right. That's getting ready to come upon this earth. All right. So this is the book of second Ezra chapter uh, 15 starting at verse 18. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. These people were walking around in great pride, walking past the men of the Lord, laughing, scoffing, making jokes. You got a lot of brothers, got a whole lot of testimonies, a lot of stories about what was going on 
years, all right, before I came into this truth, all right? Just because they were walking in great pride, all right? And so, therefore, that great pride, the Most High is going to tear down this city, all right? It reads, the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy the houses with the sword. Did we not just read in 2 Ezra 16? The sword, the famine, all these things are scourges for amendment. These things are starting to blow up. It's going to blow up in everyone's face. Like the scripture says, it's going to catch everyone like a thief. All right, it reads on. But shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. All right, great tribulation is getting ready to come upon this earth. All right, the lack of bread is getting ready to come on this earth. That famine. Why? Because you see the things behind the scenes, what these farmers are going through, what the, uh, uh, what the uh, oil industry is going through, all right? Things are, a hey, behind the scenes, things is, a hey, things is just blowing up little by little, all right? It's going to be so much till they can't contain anymore, and that's just when that bubble is going to burst, all right? And that's when all hell's going to break loose. It's when you're going to see people running up into people's houses. People's not going to spare anyone. All right, no one's not going to have no pity. All right, everyone's going to be destroyed by the sword, famine. Why? They're not going to have no food. Because for great tribulation. All right, this hyperinflation is getting ready to come. All right, as it just happened a uh, uh, couple years now in, in the country of Venezuela. And now you have right here, this is Esau bringing in his craftiness through his ways of his policies his laws, his executive orders. He's bringing in uh, something else to the table, all right? And it's this universal basic income, all right? And if this succeeds, all right, to everyone starting getting $2,000 a month, you're going to see Jake out here wilding, man. They're going to be out here buying J's, trying to, trying to travel, trying to do dumb shit, but don't even know behind the scenes that at one time they had the liberty to get this message and they forsook it. And therefore, they're going to get caught up out here in great tribulation. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you, Akium and Akwathium. This is the brother Malachi. I'm getting ready to close out. Peace and blessings to you, sincere Akium, the hopeful elect. Shalom.